All right, y'all. So the reason why you clicked on this video. All right, y'all, you know what's the most frustrating thing about being the most transparent person in the industry? Is when like random mother, you, your shit hits the explore, hits algo, and then you get everybody death threats, cool story, drug addict. That's like half of, bro, I appreciate y'all. Anybody who like shows me love, gives me a comment, dude. Like, I fucking love y'all for that shit. But it's like hard, cause it's like you're mentally like, you know, like, like the negativity gets to you. At, at a certain extent, it's always gonna get to you. You know, I'm very transparent on like me being open about gear usage, as well as like people reaching out to me individually. I've never publicly like said how much like what my cycle is, but if you don't want that video, mash the fucking like and I'll drop that shit for y'all soon. Cause like everybody, all my comments lately, it's either just like, it's either Ryland being mad horny or just like death threats of like people accusing me of being like running a shit ton of uh, steroids. So if you want that video, drop a fucking like comment. But uh, yeah, we're headed to the land right now. Hit a quick little chest pump with the boy Daniel. Shout out to him because Ryland got COVID, you know. But uh, gonna hit this workout, smash this workout real quick, but then like sit down and actually talk to y'all, dude. Cause it's like, I feel like so many of these fitness influencers right now are just like very non-transparent on like the negative side of like steroids. And I just wanna be like more so open and just like more transparent to where it's like, like you can learn from my like you don't have to go through the shit yourself you can learn from like my experiences dude but we better smash this fucking lip bro hit this pr let's hit it everybody spit that pump all game let's go easy bro you better move that was before i had internet Ooh, you better move oh you better move Oh, you better move. Oh, you better move. Oh, you better move. Oh, you better move. 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 Louis, my shoes. Pull out my whip on 22s. I saw your girl. I had to scoop. Just like a bird. She gonna swoop. Neck is hot too. Might catch the flu. Banana clip straight from the zoo. I'm like. Mother goose, if I say shoot, they gonna shoot No, I'm not sweet, I just got flavor Don't need no water to mix up this juice They say why your chain, it look like a choker That's for the slaves that had to wear the noose Uh, no you can't cuff me, baby, let me loose The way that I live, baby, that's a roof Matching closet, it came with a pool Bro moving eight bars, not no pool If you ask me his name, then I don't have a clue Make them hit the folks every time that I shoot Too much money, I'm evil from the root Yeah, my shows, they bust right through the roof Saw your crowd at your concert on snooze I'm a dog, bitch, I holler at the moon I remember when I didn't have cable That was back when I used to watch Zoom Ooh, you better move 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 Oh, you better move, 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 Louis my shoes, pull out my whip on 22 I saw your girl, I had to scoop, just like a bird, she gonna swoop, neck is hot too, might catch the flu, banana clip, straight from the zoo, I live my life like a cartoon, reality is not my move, I don't know why that girl's- Alright y'all, so... The reason why you clicked on this video. Bro, with my, with everything I do, I wanna be as most transparent. Bro, I wanna take, I want y'all to take everything that I do, every lesson, everything like, everything I've been through life, bro, I wanna express to y'all to where it's pr positive or negative. To where it's you can like find, you can find the positive, you can find the light within my darkness if that makes any sense. But the side of the industry that is on gear always highlights the pros and kind of overshadow the negative side effects that come with like when you do hop on the gear, dude. It's very niche in the sense of where like of course like the natties are like always on gear, but like for the people, for the, the percentage of people who are on gear, you don't typically hear the negative side effects that like come along with that and it, especially in like in terms of like perception of like how much like people are taking bro people are just trying to justify like why they hop on if that makes any sense i'm not trying to sound like a hypocrite just because i'm doing it 
I'm, I'm genetically blessed, especially from a side effect standpoint. I responded really well. I didn't really have that many side effects. I'm like, I'm blessed in that aspect. And not, not that many people are as blessed as I am when it comes to things like that. And the best way I can compare it, bro, is like puberty 2.0. I, I got in a deep place, one of the darkest places I've been in a while, where my mental, like, I felt, I felt alone. I felt like, I, of course, I was on prep. And a lot of that is just like naturally like what comes with like prep and that lifestyle of just like being alone dude but it's like all it all comes to perception it's like i've been preaching it dude life is literally perception it's like what you make of it and at that time it's like very hard like the gear the extra tests like bro i just like felt like it was me against the world and like it, it, it wasn't a good it, it wasn't a healthy spot if that makes any sense but like ultimately it comes to being confident in your own skin dude it's like people think you're gonna take a cycle and you're just gonna automatically like all this all this stuff's gonna happen you're gonna look so aesthetic and you're just like you're gonna have it made you're gonna have like whether that's like you're trying to do social media and you're gonna think like you're gonna have this sick physique these brands are gonna reach out to you you're gonna have your career no like confidence is is it's not like being aesthetic being looking a certain way your physical appearance it's not that fucking deep bro like if you want to be confident it comes to your mental it's not about your physical appearance dude and that's like <laughs> i know uh Coach Greg is like a very big advocate on where he, he talks about or like the the side of like once you go down that hole you're you're gonna keep going you're not gonna stop and kind of like from like looking at that but from a different viewpoint I took a cycle and my confidence even more fucked now you're never gonna be satisfied until like you learn to love and like appreciate what you have your physique and what it is dude and that's something like i'm personally struggling right with right now for like somebody who's like within the fitness industry bro you would think i i'd have so much more confidence not saying i i don't and i've been working towards that and like all my life i've been working towards that and i'm like very proud of currently where i'm at with that physically dude it it, it comes to like actually mentally learning to like it, it, it's a mental obstacle it's not like you think you're gonna have in your head you might think of like this dream physique and once you reach this dream physique you're gonna be so confident because like again everything's everything's gonna be there for you dude no it all comes to how you carry your it all comes to your confidence it all comes to your full circling it all comes to your perception dude it all comes to how you perceive yourself and how you perceive yourself is gonna impact how others perceive you as well. And of course, like me doing this, I'm gonna do this the most health conscious way, dude. Seeing y'all, seeing the, the people who actually support me and the, the, the small the small impact. Bro, I haven't felt my body dysmorphia is so bad to where like a lot of the time I look in the mirror and I don't, I'm not necessarily physically proud of myself. And that's again, stuff like I have to mentally go through myself, like some mental challenges that I have to personally overcome. But like prep dude was like the first time in a while I was able to look at myself at certain points, obviously, and be fucking proud, dude. I was literally like, I could be proud of myself because I like put in what it like, what it took, like minus like, you know, genetically like dude prep it doesn't matter how much of a fucking genetic freak you are it takes a different breed to like mentally push yourself that that point and that's what i'm trying to get at dude you want to like growth is more than physical bro your self-improvement has a lot to do with your mental a lot more to do with your mental than your physical body of course like the gym is like the one of the best outlets i feel like to do that through but like also like building your physical physique, but also mentally pushing yourself to see how far you can fucking go, dude. And that's why I love the gym as an outlet for like anybody, if you want to compete or not. But knowing that I could, I, I'm I'm new to the com like competing, dude. Like, but knowing that I, when the love that like I, I got that y'all showed me, I'm so blessed and fortunate for that. Not only like I was proud of myself, dude, but y'all like made me feel that that's so fulfilling, dude. And that's what I want. Like, dude, I'm on the pursuit of happiness. And that's why like, why I'm taking stuff and that's why I'm gonna like continue to as well because like I'm trying to I, I want to take this 
I want to take it to the next level, dude. This like having an impact on a small scale, just like having a taste for it, dude. I want to, my meaning in life is the legacy and the impact that I have on every, like every interaction, every person that I can touch. And that's why I want to take this. I want to take y'all with me. And I want to like, I want to touch as many people as I can. Pause. I want to have an impact on other people's lives. But there's things like I have to physically, I have to mentally, oh, mentally overcome to do so. Starting with like my body dysmorphia, dude. I've never been like, growing up like, I like I said, I'm proud of where I've come. But I still have a long ways to go when it comes to my personal confidence, dude. If you hop on, like, one cycle, it's not, like, my body dysmorphia got worse, like, when I hopped on gear, to be honest. Like, I would see myself, like, before I would look in the mirror and be like, oh, I need a pump, like, for certain things. Now I just, like, look in the mirror all the time, dude. Like, occasionally I'm like, yeah, I look fucking sick. But for the most part, dude, like, I look, like, fucking ass, dude. It's not, like, a, it's not a healthy mindset to be honest. And that's like what nobody talks about. You just wanna make sure you're doing it for yourself, like ultimately. Like people don't realize. I feel like I looked more aesthetic, smaller than now. Like mass doesn't, isn't equivalent to aesthetics, if that makes any sense. Not like, I'm not trying to call anybody out or like, I'm pushing too far. I'm like, this morning I weighed 237. I'm a lot like side by side. I'm a lot bigger as far as overall mass compared to like some other people within this fitness space. But there's a lot more people who are more, more so I, I'd say aesthetic than me that are on a smaller frame because you don't need all this fucking mat. You bro, you don't like, you can build muscle and you can like, you don't need this huge, like bro. Even if we're talking terms of like open bodybuilding, bro, that's like from an extreme standpoint. But a lot of those, those are mass monsters, bro. But not necessarily aesthetic. Like, dude, I promise you, like, especially them on the fucking cycles they're taking, they're not in a mental like space where they're like, they feel that's healthy to where they feel confident in their skin, bro. You can be smaller and aesthetic and natural and just feel so much more comfortable in your skin bro and it ultimately comes back to doing it for the right reasons doing it for your fucking self dude if you're gonna take a cycle like me i did it to compete i didn't do it for anybody else dude i did it for myself and my fulfillment because like i i wanted to compete and like now y'all have given me a new spark and like motive to like want to take it even further for like ultimately my self-fulfillment dude being able to impact y'all bro just literally thinking about that shit just puts a fucking smile on my face dude anytime i'm in the gym anytime i'm in a bad headspace dude i i like i read comments or i fucking go to like i try to dm y'all dude and it's like that shit makes my fucking day and that makes me feel fulfilled like knowing that like what i'm doing like i'm i'm on to something bro i like I can't thank y'all enough for that. But honestly, like, if it weren't to come to competing, I would have stayed natural, bro. I would like, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have, but I, I should, I should have stayed natty if like I weren't to, if I weren't to compete, I should have stayed natural. Just because like, again, it, just being on like test and like, of course, like I'm going in this period of my life and career right now with a lot of fucking stress and just trying to make it. And that could like have like a side effect like on my overall mental health. But mentally, dude, I'm drained and I have to push even harder. But I thank y'all for like pushing me. Y'all push me harder. But like, dude, it's not worth it. But if you are, don't justify it based off of a fucking influencer because most likely, like, they could be deceptive in the fact of the information they're giving you or anything, dude. Just do it for your fucking self. If you're gonna hop on, do it for yourself. Do it for the right reasons. Do it health conscious, dude. Just know the downsides that potentially can come with that. But again, like, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna be as transparent with y'all throughout this fucking journey. Even the negatives, it's like, there's takeaway there. You can look at a negative situation and it's your perception. It's how you take that negative, like, situation you find yourself or other people, you stories you hear. Bro, you can hear people's stories and get that takeaway and be like, okay, not let's do this x x x and x triple x and find like positive you can find positive 
obviously in the light, but what's harder is to find positive in the dark. And dude, your mind is so much fucking stronger than it is, bro. Like I promise you, you can accomplish anything you want, anything you put your fucking mind to. I fucking love y'all. Thank you for like, thank you for everything. Y'all are my everything, dude. But I'll catch y'all in the next one.